she comes slamming over to me and took the dog she had from her dog and rammed it into my face. There is dog feces smeared across his forehead. I don't know anything about that. Have you ever wondered what drives someone to smear dog poop on their neighbor's face as a form of revenge? People often think their actions will not have severe consequences. That is, until the cops come knocking. Get on the ground! Taser, taser, taser. Please! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Here are some incidents where neighbors' lives spiraled out of control. Starting with this woman, whose actions polluted the air of neighborly trust, smearing like dog poop across a face until the law's grasp cleaned the community stain. Well, he's saying you picked it up, walked over, and smeared it across his forehead no. today. No, why would I? That's gross. Who would do that? I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Okay, no. On October 8th, 2023, police responded to a report from a neighbor who alleged that Kaylee Robertson smeared dog feces on his face in St. Petersburg. Upon arriving at the scene, the police talked to the neighbor, who shared detailed information about the suspect and revealed something that urged the officers to investigate further. What's going on? I have a dog. Okay. I walked my dog this morning, and I was sitting on a park bench down the end of the road. Do you want to show me where it Do you want me to show you where it was? No, it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> And I sit on the bench, and my dog beside me, and I see somebody over on the corner, T, that we call it, I call it, and I, I wave and yell, hello. Now, I couldn't see the person's face, I didn't know who it was, but I always yell and wave hello to everybody, always. Okay. And nobody ever has reaction, they say, hi, how are you, blah, 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 or come visit the dog. Well, she uh, got done walking her dog, and I saw that she, the dog, and he, she picked it up and came walking over to me, sturdy as you will, and saying something. I said, wait, wait, I can't hear you. I'm, I'm hard of hearing. So uh, she came slamming over to me and took the dog she had from her dog and rammed it into my face. And uh, so I told you not to talk to me. I'm a woman alone. I'm a single woman alone. I have no idea what that's about. Hmm. And then as she walked away, she called me a do you have any idea where she lives? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you have your ID with you? And no, I don't. But I can go get it. That's right. I'm going to get a photo of you here before we do anything else. Okay. I can't believe she did it. I don't know why she did it. Have you ever had any interaction with her before? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry to tell you. Fa the only time I knew her was... Can you face me? I'm going to do this real quick. I was walking my dog up the road here, and... For some reason, I stopped to look behind me, mm -hmm. and she is crouching with her dog down like this uh, on the road, and I don't know why, but it startled me and my dog, and I almost stumbled and fell over. And uh, so I just walked away and went up that way. Nothing else was, no, just nothing said. Mm -hmm. So then <clears throat> I came out one morning and waved hello and said hello, and she told me to off and read me a tyranny of cursing you won't believe. And I said, what did I do to you? I don't even know you. Mm. She says, I told you not to talk to me. Sometimes you talk to me, sometimes you don't. I have never known the woman to talk to her. I don't yet. So I, I did say good morning a couple times after that, simply because I say good morning to everybody. And uh, then this morning, she did that over there. What's she wearing today? Oh, good Lord, I couldn't tell you, sir. What's she look like? Uh, she's my height almost. Uh, little bit deep, but not as big as me, probably. And uh, long hair, very long hair that's streaked mm -hmm. on the lower ends of the gold streaks on the ends. When the police confronted Kaylee, they sought to uncover the truth about the situation. However, her version of events only added confusion and further complicated the matter. Hello. I need to speak with you. With me? Yeah. Okay. Do you have an altercation with the gentleman standing over there today? Um, yelled at each other. Is that an altercation? We yelled at each other a few times. Okay. What's going on between you and him? Um, honestly, all it is, uh, you know, I'm a woman young by myself out here. Yeah. He has yelled, he has yelled at me before several times, seven in the morning, just yelling hello. And I told him, I said, hey, I said, I don't know you, you don't know me. I said, don't yell at me. Mm -hmm. He keeps doing it. I said, I was like, hey, I said, stop. I was like, this is last time. I said, stop. I was like, I really don't know you. You don't know me. I'm a young woman by myself. I was like, 
And then today, I yelled a little more. I didn't call him a I feel bad for that. I don't usually use the word. But all I want is him to just, like, not yell at me in the morning. Like, can he not do that? How did he get dog feces smeared across his forehead? What? There is dog feces smeared across his forehead. I don't know anything about that. Okay, because he's saying... I mean, I mean, I do have a dog. I don't pick up his feces like that. Well, he's saying you picked it up, walked over, and smeared it across his forehead no. today. No, I did walk over and yell at him because when I was yelling, because that's probably about here to that camper from him, and he said he couldn't hear me, so I walked a little closer, but I didn't. No, why would I? That's gross. Who would do that? I'm just telling you what I'm saying. Okay, no. Do you have Nothing a, more than yelling. Do you have any... That doesn't matter. Do you, do you have any identification on you? Um, I know I can get it. I live right there. I can get it out of my purse. Would you be so kind? Yeah, come on, babies. How many times have you had an altercation with him? I mean, yelling back and forth like six or seven. Mostly him yelling at me and me just telling him to f off and walking away. And how long have you been staying here? Quite a while if you've got it on your driver's license, I'd imagine. Yeah, um, I've been I'm living in this RV park two years. I just moved over to this spot three months ago. Were you uh, walking your dog to let it go to the restroom this morning? Yeah. Okay. And did your dog use the restroom? <laughs> yes, my dog used the restroom. Okay. What did you do with the waste? Um, bagged it up like we're supposed to. And do you want to see it in the trash? Okay. Like if we gotta get that serious about it. Well, considering it was buried, I would would not necessarily tend to believe that was the first one of the day. Or the one he just. I could, his... Listen, gonna, yeah. I'll be perfectly honest That's with you. Fine. I should probably call. You think a lawyer or like what's what's this going? Because I because because now he's saying these things. We've only yelled at each other like, just like, how serious do I need to take this? You're being there's a crime being alleged, so okay. I'm investigating a battery at this point. A battery. Because okay. mm -hmm. smearing feces on somebody would be considered a battery. Anybody else here with you? No, just me and my dog. Okay. Give me one moment, I'll be right back with you. The officer remained doubtful of Kaylee's story and stepped aside to speak with the victim about the incident once again. You were sitting I, here. I yelled hello. You were sitting at this bench right here? I sat on this bench here. Okay. And I saw somebody, I know it was her. But then later, she came out from there and walked around over there behind the boat. And I saw her dog get crap and I saw she picked it up and I thought, oh, that's good. And then, uh, I just sat there, like I do often with my dog, and she was rolling over with a purpose, but I didn't know what her purpose was. And as she was coming over, from about the middle of the gray asphalt, she was yelling at me. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, slow down, slow down. I can't understand you, I can't hear you. And she came up upon me. I guess she said, I told you not to talk to me, blah, blah, blah. I'm a single woman living alone. I don't understand. She said that to me a couple times. I don't, you know, I don't know. And she slammed this bag of shit in my face and I pushed backwards. And then I tried to push her away and my hand got caught in her long hair on the on this side, but she got up and as she was getting up, she called me a f and something else, and off she strode. So the feces was in a bag that she had in her hand? Yes. Okay. What color, do you remember what color the bag was? You know, I was thinking about that. It was, uh, you know, they make these neon colors. It was Copy. sort of like a teal, the color of my house. Mm -hmm. It wasn't blue, it wasn't green, it was a mixed shade. And what hand did she push push up against you with? This hand, sure. So right hand? Yes. And then did she take the bag with her as well? Oh yeah, she took it all with her. It's up there somewhere, oh, so she threw it away, but I don't know where she threw it away at. Mm. <sighs> okay. All right, because she's not. she says that everything you said happened except for that. But the she, only thing- My face. Correct. It's the only thing she doesn't admit to. She says that's the one thing that she did not do. Oh, she admitted to using the foul language. She admitted to using the 
very unkind description of you. However, she she says that it was verbal only and there was no physical altercation. Oh, that's a lie. Occurred. That's a lie. I want her charged. Well, I'm going to. Okay. I mean, because that's what you want. I'm going to charge her. But... Oh, I do, do, do. At that point, the suspect initially denied her involvement, but ultimately she confessed to the crime and faced the consequences for her misconduct according to the law. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one that's sitting on the on the bench, right by the bench. Okay, so you're gonna be charged with battery because the physical evidence is still sitting over there. It's that bag right there, the green one. It, it does have feces on it. It matches the feces that's on his forehead. Unless you would like to amend your statement to me. Would you like me to show you the bag that's still sitting on the ground over there? Because it, it's gonna match that one specifically. Right? And there's right, a reason you have... started pulling that one out and shoved it back in your pack and then pulled out the black, dark black one, which is what you showed me over here. Am I about to be arrested <clears throat> just so I can give him to somebody? Or... I'm looking to try to not to do that, but you haven't been honest with me up until this point. Because when people are dishonest, that shows a, right. a decision to do criminal activity and not take ownership of it. You have no criminal activity. I just ran your criminal activity history. You have I, nothing. I know, because I don't... I don't like to be a bad person. I don't like to yell at people. I don't like... Okay. You understand. Listen, I've been doing this for 12 and a half years. I've put in so much investigation on this one silly, silly thing. That probably shouldn't be a thing Excuse at all. Me? Oh, yeah. Oh, I that you had to go that well, far. the fact that I had to just prove the, the dog bag thing drives me crazy. But what happened between you and him today? Because this isn't the first altercation, but this is the first time it's I gotten... I want him to stop yelling at me. Okay. Would you yell at a woman by herself? But how did all this start is my question. That's it. He just yelled at me. And I, and I yelled back. It, probably the wrong day that I yelled back because I said, I told him I, and then he, I went inside, he came up and walked on my lot, mm -hmm. told me to know what the f was wrong with me and that's the start of all of it. Okay. And then ever since then he yells morning at me and I tell him to f all not to yell morning at me. So as far as what happened today, did it happen the way you said or did it happen the way he said? I think we all know what happened. Ma'am, I need to did, did you smear feces in his face with a green bag that you have in your, in your pack? Okay. The reason I asked you and the reason I, I cannot push this issue with you any further. I know you can't help me. Well, here's the thing. You committed, what you did today is considered a battery, right? In the, in the in Pinellas, okay. listen, please listen. I, I know, I know, I'm listening. In, I know I'm in, in Pinellas County, we have something called adult diversion. Right? He's 76. Oh, God. Oh. Should I just call the lawyer? Well, I mean, regardless of what happened. Senior abuse? Is that what y'all are saying? Oh, this oh, not, no, no. Not, it's not senior abuse. No, there's, it's battery of a, a gentleman of 65 or older, which makes it a felony. Does it always if get he, charged like that? No, not always. Right, but and if he yanked on my hair, that wouldn't matter at all. Oh, he said he got a hold of your hair, but that was after. Oh, yeah, he yanked me and pulled me. But he said that was after he got the, the feces smeared in his face. Yeah, he yanked on me when I walked up to him. Was he sitting or standing? It was. It was. He he was sitting, okay. and I had walked up to him, and and I held the dog up and I said, "Don't say hello to me anymore." And he's starting to yank on my hair, and I put the dog. It was simultaneous. I'm not gonna sit here and say I didn't do it first or he did it first, but it. If, you, if you're really looking for the specifics of that, you close the distance to him where he was in a seated position. He was in a position to disadvantage as you walked up to him at that point. I, I guess you said back this is probably what he wanted. This is why he kept yelling at me. He wanted me to get to this point now that I really think about it. I'm stupid. Do you have somebody that dog can stay with? I can take him down to my neighbors. You gotta take me in right now. Due to the severity of the crime, yeah, I do. All right, his name is Brian. Brian. Okay. All right, I gotta call your mom, and she's gotta get a hold of Brian, right? Yeah, call your mom, let her know, and he's, she's gonna get a hold of Brian. Yeah, let her know. Tell her story, but maybe you can get the information to find him when it comes to me every time. Brian's a lawyer. Brian's a lawyer. Here? Yes. yes. 
very here. Brian is a lawyer here. I okay. might have a business card in my purse. Just talk to mom. mom. Talk to her boss, Mandy, uh -huh. and get a, a client, Brian, who's a lawyer, her his phone. Number. You actually can you just take her and search her? Yeah, I'm sure. My car, ma'am. So, do you oh, have yeah. any property on you at all? Oh, I don't think so. No. no. Okay, nothing in your short term. Coley was charged with felony battery on a person 65 or older. She later pleaded guilty to the charge and was sentenced to probation. Explore this woman who left a parcel at the door. Not out of welcome, but out of malice. A silent messenger of consequence that would not go unnoticed. Just tell her let me go and I won't. I won't go. I won't go. Just tell her to let me go. Bro. I'm your too. On January 11th, 2022, in Joliet, officers were dispatched in response to an altercation. The caller reported that her neighbor, Latrice, left used condoms in front of her door and punched her. As the police approached the suspect, she spat on them in an attempt to evade arrest, escalating the situation and compelling the officers to take immediate action against her. <laughs> Y'all gonna see what he did. 
And now I gotta get me about it here. And I need to call my. <laughs> I need to call. These cuffs too tight. He choking me, putting his hands all his his leg all on my head. And shit, brother, all I'm trying to do is move my door away from him. And he got to shit me. That's not right. And then why every time we call y'all, we get treated like the stuff that. I need to talk to Postwick. Is Postwick here? Postwick, your officer. Is he here? Postwick, is he here? He know everything. He the one that's been trying to help us against her. He's been trying to help us against her, sir. We're going to court and everything. He, it's not right. And he treated me like a suspect. I ain't even been here, sir. I've been gone. I just came back to last night. I ain't even been here. I've been gone for a whole three weeks. <laughs> oh my god, and then she always get treated like a victim. How is she the victim, but she started? How is she the victim, but she just was super good? I'm a half a background, bro. I don't got this. Y'all treated me like I'm a criminal, bro. I know that's why I'm trying to get you to just get him off of me. I didn't know who was trying to read this. The way he did me was wrong. I'm a whole woman. I hope he know that too though, right? The woman denied her actions and persisted in verbally abusing the officers. Despite her agitated behavior and yelling, she eventually faced the legal consequences for her actions. Look, like y'all weird. It's weird. And I'm not around no more. Just like the rest of them. It's like a criminal. Like I'm not around no more. Just like the rest of them. It's like a sour. I ain't even do shit. Right there. Begging and crying for shit. Look, I'm out of here. I'm getting treated like I'm a suspect. Like a suspect. Oh, you need to I gotta go. I gotta go. For real, for real. <laughs> crazy. Is Mitchell here? Mitchell will work. Marcus. Can, can you find him too? Can you please find him? I need him. I need him. Crazy. Why is we getting treated like suspects? I don't get this. Y'all help us because we losing our patience with this. <laughs> Why is we really getting treated like suspects? Everything we do go to court. Everything and we steal the problem. I don't know no way out of this, bro. And y'all making me feel like I got a my life. It's crazy. I want all the officers' names, man. Like, for real, for real. So I'm gonna bring them all to the JPD. Like, for real, for real. You just did an unlawful arrest. You ain't even ran me like right. You're just like, baby, come on. Give me a car. Please, give me a car. I'm not a dummy. I'm going to school for both. Give me a car. He rolled. Give me a this car. And that fat dude, do it. I want his name and his officer badge. Okay, you have to settle down. Uh, give me his name and his badge. Give me a party. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to give it to you. Just give me a belly here. Right. What do you want to call me? I know. Like the suspect, y'all treated me as I am. You gotta calm down though. I can't. Just call my daddy. I told you that. That's the you only way I'm going to calm down. Call my daddy. You gotta give just me your phone number, your name, and all that stuff. You gotta just call calm my daddy. And I need that officer name. And that officer back. Latrice was charged with aggravated battery upon a peace officer, resisting arrest and obstructing justice. With each scratch and slash, she carved her anger into the metal and rubber until the police arrived to confront her with the cold reality of her actions. Oh no. She really Please don't put me in his car because he's going to kill me. So, oh, I'm serious. He's I'll been tr he's paper. been stalking me. He has a drone. He sure. probably was watching me and Dre have sex in the park that day. On June 25th, 2023, officers responded to reports of a woman vandalizing vehicles with a knife, including scratching them and slashing tires in Kent. When they arrived, they spotted the woman walking in the middle of the street. Despite their attempts to approach her calmly, she did something unexpected that required the officers to take decisive action. Hi, uh, do you have the mohawk and everything? I do. Yeah, can I ask you a question real Sure, quick? go ahead. Okay, Clay. Have you ever somebody? Negative. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. So what are we Except doing out here? Except you practiced for this, didn't you? Practice for what? This interrogation? It's not an interrogation, we're just talking, right? No, I'm interrogating you. You okay. Cool, cool. What, what Have about? you ever somebody? Nope. Uh, don't be disrespectful to you this cop. Huh? Literally, look at his hair. His name is okay. K. Clay, gotcha. and he's a which, which car? Isn't this hilarious? I did face a bunch of them. You want to come see the graffiti I wrote? Come here, K. Clay. Sure, I'll see the graffiti. Follow this, KK. Follow this, Never seen it before? No. Oh, I ran an illegal immigrant out of here with a knife. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this one I think is like this is Miranda's car. This one, me and Justin were sleeping in because we were trying to, you know, okay. be sheltered for a day. Gotcha. So I wrote, Jose Weaver is a got in a prison. Oh my god, and this heinous Of course they called you next. Uh cool. Uh okay. so if you're arresting me, 
you're just asking me or not around Hold on, hold on. No, no, okay, hold on. We're just cool. talking right now. We're just talking right now. Cool, cool, You cool. can deal with him since you don't like me. That's okay. I don't want to deal with anybody, okay. actually. Well, you're not free to go right now because they're investigating possibly a crime and you're a suspect. My it. crime? Your crime? So the suspect just has to go away. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't touch me, bitch. I said don't touch me. I said do not touch me. I have not seen the knife. No. You're going to jail. Funny. I don't have a knife. Sure. You have these fists. And you hit me. How did I did not hit you? Stop. Down. Stop. You're going to get yourself hurt. <laughs> I'm going to have to put you on the ground if I can't get your arm back. Do you hear me? Take a breath. Oh, wow. Oh, Take actually, wow. Can I get some gin? Negative. Oh, no, but I'm, I'm alcoholic. Can you let go of your flower so it doesn't f me? Let go of your flower. No. Yep. Mm -mm. I'm feeling right now. You're admitting it. Pick up the cuffs right now, okay? Not, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, body cam. Hello, future prosecuting officer. Uh, yes, I would love a okay. ride along. Can I get in your car? Oh, you dropped the body cam. Dude, they They just admitted it on camera. They said, not yet. He wanted to kill me in prison. He's been following me, and he wanted to kill me in prison. I'm gonna cut yeah, I can pay for that tire. Is that? I'm gonna cut this first off. Okay. Absolutely not. Oh, fine. I can fix the leather then. Stop grabbing me like that. Yeah, I got. Is. I'm gonna get my gloves on and a little switch. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get your buzz on. No, my gloves. Oh. G L O V E S. Yes, G L O V E S. G O L. No, you spelled that wrong. It's G L O V E S. So I said. I have some in the bag. Do you want to in front of the body? Yes. No. Oh my God, you could literally. Right now, it's our. No one wants to do that. Sorry, oh, this guy said not yet. Mm. I said no one wants to do that. Oh, that's what he said, right, Haney? Tiny. Well, my right here. Oh no. She really. Please is. don't put me in his car because he's gonna kill me. So, oh, I'm serious. He's I'll been he's been papers. stalking me. He has a drone. Sure. He probably was watching me and Dre have in the park that day. Okay. Yes, obstruction. That is a good truck. No wait, my stuff though. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. No, no, no. I have to be able to. Oh, hey, can you call 988? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Ah, I'm not going to get the cop car until you break me. Ow, break me again then. Ow, stop. ow, my wrist, stop. my wrist, my wrist, my wrist, stop. Come on. Ow. Here you go. They're literally, they're literally, they're literally doing it. They're literally doing it right now, and I'm having a panic attack. My pills are back there. Actually, they're not here. Oh, my God, I don't have my panic attack pills. After detaining the woman, she became aggressive towards the police and made false accusations against them. The officers then covered her head to prevent her from engaging in further misconduct. I was going for x-rays today. Take a deep breath. Oh, thank you. Yes, I would like to be unarrested, please. On your stance. I will stand for the obstruction, but not okay, for... On your stance. Just move your feet out. There we go. Stop me! No one's... Stop me! He's doing it. He's doing it right now. He said, not yet, right? No. And then I said, you want to kill me in prison? That's right, Jaime. I'm sorry, but, but I'm sorry. Do you have a small butt though? Oh, you do. You have a very small butt. I've actually. never noticed it. I like that. This the other day. Oh, wow. Yes, like please tear the shirt. Exile would love that. Is this the uh, English accent? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no darling. Uh, which English accent do you want? Do you want black country? Or would you like a Geordie accent? I like the accent. Or, um, no, a uh, Scottish Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's lean back, right? Cool. I'll lean on your shoe. Right. Boot licker. Ah! Step in my wow, like curb that. stomp. Ha ha. Okay. Right. Hello, sir. Will you please kill me in prison? Is that what you were planning all along? Is it? <gasps> Judge, I think he's saying it right now. He's about to step on my foot again. Yeah, I'm gonna Judge, we're doing it together. Something crazy. Oh my God, the prosecutors though. Oh, I tagged the whole town yesterday. Oh my god, it was so much fun. I am a graffiti artist. I'm the new Banksy. Oh yeah? Uh, stop touching me. What's your... You want to stop touching your... me now? Because you have to go get the from back there. I'm hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't spit. Now you got an assault charge. I love okay, that. Let's go get the spit hood. Right. Spit hood? Cool. Yeah, I think it's in the Okay, so in cop the back, cars in use the, uh... Fords. And hey, that's a good place for a mic. can I get a spit hood? Uh, could someone give me a gun? 
Can I get a spit hood? You know, in America, they a give spit police hood. officers... Go- oh, spit yes. hood. Beth and Darling. In the car. This Don't is why we sell guns in Walmart. I am part of the NRA. Hey, I'm a member of the NRA and I would like a weapon. I'm being assaulted by a group of officers. Can I stand up? Nope. Nope. Uh, would all white cop please let go? No. Oh, you like that. Oh, you like that, honey, huh? I'm all the way over for you. We're getting it right Yes, now. Judge. He's me. He said not yet earlier. You remember that? It's on all of the body cams. Hey, do you remember when I was accosting you in the park? And I was like, what are you doing? Are you off in there? And then you drove off? And then later, oh my god, later, that's true. That's true. I asked, have you anyone? And you were like, nope, I can recall. So you did practice for this. So the Nazi with the mohawk, uh, K Clay, true. Oh my god, are y'all part of the Stand. Oh, okay. Let me go if you're not part of the. Please, Prosha, actually, Prosha Balzo. You're putting a bag over my head. Oh, it's magic. Okay, I can do that. That actual magic. Wonderful. Is this a spit guard? Y'all know that spit can still go through mesh, right? This is not a mask. This is not like COVID regulated. Oh, you're putting. Oh, you're lynching me. Are y'all gonna kill me right now? No, no. No, actually, that would be the perfect ending to the story. My birthday is tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, no, it's my literal 29th birthday. 29? 29. Okay. I haven't even hit 30 yet, well, Sherwood. Almost. Oh, almost hello, really. officer. Hi. Yes, the, co- the body cam is also an officer. I've decided that uh, electronic objects have personhood. Thank you for patting All me right. down the correct way. What would you uh, name? Oh, I do remember you. What would you name my camera? Okay. Oh, excuse me, no. I'm so sorry, darling. I forgot to call you a Axon? Is that a German uh, company? Axon? Wait, are you a female officer? Say nothing if you're a female officer. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, person. Wow, whoa. Uh, so I'm not allowed to call a cop a person? Oh, I'm I just thought... to put my shoe back on. You don't want me to put on the chunkla? thought chunklas? you were going to kick me. No, I was going to okay. put on the chunkla. Okay, go ahead. Okay, cool. Ouch. There's glass on these streets. Can I get the other one, please? It's over there. We'll get Hi, it. Honey, could we'll you get please it. get my chunkla, darling? I would love to f***ing prison. I would rather not. Oh, really? Yeah. You'd rather not. Yeah, what's her name? Even when I'm terrorizing Hey, ma'am, what's your, what's your name? LMA. LMA? Yes, that LMA. Okay. Yeah. All right, LMA. I'm not on any of my psych meds. Oh, I, you I, broke I, the Bach bag. Okay. You know, she's going to be so mad What psych meds are you on? Lamic. Thank you, Lamic. I am um, and Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Oh my God, did you call him? Ma'am, thank you. Holy s***. Bless that Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Whoa. Oh, yes. Back off the gendering, she said. They said. Oh, wonderful. So I get a ride along. In the back of the cop car. How old was Sandra Bland when y'all murdered her? And the, and the suicide photo? 35? Yeah. Oops. Okay, seatbelt then. The police obtained details from the victims to accurately investigate the matter. When they discovered a shocking fact about the suspect, they acted in accordance with the law. Because I can't speak through this. Actually, I can. Uh, quick share. I don't know your gender. Are you Nicole safe? Shock, you have the right to remain silent. Anything yeah, that's not my gender. Be used against you in a court of law. Cool. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you. Oh, you changed the Miranda rights. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before being questioned if you wish. You can decide I any wish. time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Cool. Do you understand each of these rights? I'll explain to you. Yeah. I Having do know the Miranda mind, rights. So much so that I know that you changed them right now. We put a spit hood on her. Oh. Just so you're aware. Uh, yes, I would love to talk to a different officer. Can you tell me which officer has been plotting to kill me? Okay. Ah! Spit my face, Sarge. You're going to get an assault one too. Copy that. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. <laughs> it's Wild Woman Sunday, bro. Apparently it is. Hello. All right, what'd you see? Um, this morning, I come out to let my dog out, and she's just out here going crazy. She was just saying weird things to me, and then okay. start screaming. She came up to the door asking for her husband. Yeah, I talked to her. She started knocking on the door, and I opened it. I didn't know. I thought maybe she got locked out, so I opened it, and it searched. She's like, I didn't talk to the man. Was just, they just walked in, and I was like, that's my husband. You don't even talk to him. Mm-hmm. And she just started talking crazy, so I was like, you can leave. And I locked the door, and I watched her leave. And when I watched her leave... 
someone called up to talk to them, and then she walked over here and she slashed the red car's tire. And then started kind of and carving I, in it. That's when I told them, I was like, hey, she's doing something dangerous. So then I so asked her to leave, and, and she refused to leave. So I said, okay, I'm calling the cops then. I was like, I have kids here. I need you to stop. Right. And, yeah. and she was like, I don't have kids. I don't care. And so I said, I'm calling the cops then. What's an ankle look like? I, I couldn't tell. I, I couldn't tell because she was doing it like so, this, yeah. and then you could see her carving. I, I like couldn't tell. Like this, okay. And then, like, crouched down went like this, and then I watched the tire going down. Gotcha. We'll be back. Thank you. Hi there. Who's red car? One guy from you, people. I saw me these days ago. So they got a tire on there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's the... Okay. So. Is he here, the guy who owns yeah, this? The, 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 the guy saw me this since maybe two so, weeks ago. Oh, so it's yours now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it looks like she cut your tire. Oh my God. And I'm assuming this wasn't here? Oh my God. Or this? Is that all new damage? Hey. This and this. I'm ready to sleep. I don't know what happened. Okay. The yeah, it's this female over here that's fighting with us. She, uh, the neighbors watched her come over and stab your tire and scrape, scrape into the car. Did she scratch in that one too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, this is this is the here because the, the insurance I want to come and for keep keep that one. Gotcha. Uh, so I don't know. Oh my god. All right. There's that. It's got my case number on the back. And like I said, if you wander around and see any other damage, yeah, let me know. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to put this in as damaged, mm -hmm. that in as damaged, and the flattened tire. Okay, okay. thank you. If any questions, thank call me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The woman was charged with malicious mischief, resisting arrest, and assaulting a peace officer. Discover the woman whose seeds of discord in her neighbor's life bloom into a thorny garden of consequences, trimmed by the firm hands of cops. I'm just asking why Jerry's. Because I have. On July 30th, 2023, around midnight, officers responded to a 911 call about an older woman threatening people with a knife in Heron. Upon arrival, the police encountered a woman in apparent mental distress, engulfed in a storm of accusations. Her unjustified blame towards others and uncooperative demeanor escalated the situation. I will leave. What are we doing? I have to get a ride or whatever. No, they just sit there. They've been messing with me. I have mental issues. No, I they just said you leave. threatening people. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I we know I have mental issues. No. Okay. No, please don't. I'm gonna play shoes. No, 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 Bell, stop! No, I have no, 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 please, Randy, stop! You know let me a stop. Please stop. Let me just go to the hospital. Get out. Please give me the hospital. Stop! Stop! Let me go. On your no. Back. No, no, please. Let me go back. to the hospital, baby. Please. Put your hand behind no. your back. No. Put, it behind no. your back Be Put it behind your back now. Behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. She had it behind Stop. your back. Stop. Put your hand behind your back. Put your Stop. hand behind your back. Oh, I can't. There you go. No, give me my. Stop. Hey, I you no, Stop. 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 There you go. Stop, please! Ow, ow, back! No, I need to go to the hospital, please! Please, I'm off my meds! Brandy, please! Please, just take me to the hospital! I'll pay the fing bond! Please! Please, baby, put me out homeless, please! Please, just stop! I have fing marks on my face! This is not Buddy, please help me. Val, please. Val, please. Please, Val, please. Please, no. I promise I will die. Yeah, please help me. Baby, please. Please get me to the hospital. Don't do it. Come on. Baby, please. Baby, please. Now you're on the No, look, I have fing marks. Oh, no. Ow. No, I'm not under arrest. Please. Yes, you are now. I'm sorry. No, please. I told you I was detaining you, and oh, you wanted you to try to get away from me. Please don't. Yep. Okay, please don't. Listen to me. Please, 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 please talk to me. 
I have all my stuff he's with me out on the streets because I can't do this, please. Stand up. Please, I need my mess. Stand up. I need my box and baby, you know what happened. Stop. What? I don't have anything on me. Okay? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I promise. I promise I don't. That's my, my, my card. Please, I promise I don't. I'm telling you the truth. Look at my face. Please, he just took my keys. Brandy, please talk to them. Tell them. Please. Please. Please, Brandy. Please. He just hit me. Please, stop. Please, stop. Brandy, keep my stuff. Will you please? Not formally press charges for threatening the knife. All right, now let's get to the story about what happened. She come, okay, she came in early, right? Yeah. And, okay, all she did was she was a friend, and she said, can we put a couple boxes in because she was going to move. This is three or four, about a week ago, okay? So then she ends up putting a bed in there while I'm at work because I work 3 to 5.30. So I call the lady police officer. She's real nice and cute kind of. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to know. Anyway, she come over here. She's like, now that she's had her... Stuff moved in here. I can't. I can't move her out. I'm like, man, she's got to be a train wreck. You know what I mean? And, and Bruce was saying that she's over there doing stuff. This is retired detective right here, Bruce. And he's like over there just tell me, bud. You know. And I try to be a good neighbor next to a cop. He like. And then I had five police cars over here one night. She's out here doing something. And so I, what did she I, do tonight? Okay. So earlier she came and she came and just everything. And so we put all her stuff out. She's supposed to get some. Uh, 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 she had. So uh, you put all her stuff out. She's the female leaving was supposed to brought it out. She's supposed to get somebody come pick it up and leave. Okay. And then she come in there and she started having a fit again. I wouldn't let her out. She said she's gonna cut my throat with a knife. Cut my head off. And and did then, she have a knife? Yeah, she ran in there and took it as soon as you guys pulled up and seen the light. She was beating on did the back. Did you of, see her with a knife? Well, yeah. Did she, she have it like this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that was where at the Right there at my door. She, right at the she door? She ran in there. As soon as you guys pulled up, she ran in there. So I don't... Uh, what kind of knife did she have? It looked like a... Like hand. a kitchen knife? It looked like a, a sheetrock knife when you flip out. Like a, well, let's go see if we can find it. Uh, she just ran in there. She's been standing here, so ain't no telling what she's been doing. This is my buddy. I just called him over. You know, I don't know. Yeah, she's been standing here. My buddy ain't. You know, you know, I didn't get cut. If you, if you don't want to press charges on her. No, this is your thing. Do you want to press charges on her? You called the police and said she was threatening people. She's got to be at some And I went to detain her. Obviously, she's the problem. She's in there yelling and screaming and carrying on. So I go to detain her, and all that happens. So Yeah, but I mean, I called in the... To delve deeper into the incident, the police obtained statements from several people, uncovering surprising aspects that stunned the cops. Based on the reports against her, the police transported her to the police cruiser for further investigation. And I, I, so we don't know what she did with the knife. It's not a big I deal. I three-year-old granddaughter, man. So you called the police after she said she's going to cut you? Well, we asked her because Bruce said she's been given too much trouble, and I didn't know because I work all day long, and I'm just trying to be a nice guy and never move her stuff in. Turned out she moved in here. That dog don't look good. Brought dogs and everything. I just like moved, in. and then I asked the lady. She's like, "Oh, she's already moved in. I ain't even do. You just gotta wait till she makes a problem." Well, the day she come in, I wouldn't let her in the house. I'm like, you know, do I take a part of my house too? She already started moving, and then and then getting on to me. So I Back. Got a female officer. This is my day off. I work fifty hours a week. So next room. question. You want to sign a complaint? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Okay, short white guy and I rent this house. Mm -hmm. And he went to rehab. We got this house. He went to rehab again for alcohol. He's supposed to be clean. Mm -hmm. Bell got evicted or whatever. Came over here and said, uh, Can you give me a 25 post for a walk in? We or a, some facility over in Carbondale where she had to check in at midnight every night, like, like a halfway house. Well, they got her home late one night, so she got kicked out. So she started staying here. Those two do not get along. The white, short guy, and the blonde, they don't get along. They fight. Okay. They drive each other nuts. They're both ADHD. They're both, like, constantly walking and pacing and talking and carrying on. We wanted them to leave. We've asked them to leave. We've asked her to leave earlier today, and your female det officer was here earlier. And we asked her to leave. She came back tonight. The thing is, the guy she's crying for, Bill, the black guy, mm -hmm. Knocked her the other day. I'm sorry. No, you're right. Down, and she has a big welt here and a big knot here where he knocked her down. They're doing crap. I stay the 
I stay away from them. I stay in the house away from them. I want nothing to do with it. And I have a job. I have a bachelor's degree. <laughs> but I have nowhere else to go. And I'm stuck here. Okay. But this is, you know. You know how to get an eviction? On him? Just to get him out? Any of them? Is, who's ha is it your it's house in mine, only? It's in mine and his. You can evict them. I can't. I, see, I don't know any of this. Yeah. You can, you'd have to file for it at the courthouse um, and go through the eviction process. It's kind of a but lengthy process. I but. will be honest. They have done nothing but antagonize her all day. Mm -hmm. They have. Okay. And she's not dealing with it, right? I agree. But yeah. Okay. That's my side. Okay. I never, ever, ever saw her with a knife. Okay. Never. Sweet. What's that? I didn't even see my son's mother. She didn't give me a hit. But then I'm talking about she gave me a son to go up with my daughter, man. Okay. And I've been trying to take her of and she flipped out every time I look around, I'm just trying to take care of them. You know what I mean? Okay. Stop hitting your head on there. I am having Put space. your feet in there. Put your feet in there. Put your feet in there. No! Put your feet in there. I can't put your hand. I need medical treatment. Okay, right put now. your feet in there. No, please, call the officer. I can't do it. Put your feet in there. I can't. I want to fing die. Okay, put your feet in there. No. That's no, right. Don't, me. don't make me do this. Please call the fing English. I don't want to let you get in there. Put your feet in there. No, no, I have to kill myself. Please, I will fing give myself, yeah, please. Time, please, I give up. I have nothing to live for. Put Don't hurt me, there. please. Then put your feet no. in there. I've been through too much domestic tonight. I can't fight no more. Please just save me to the hospital. I'm begging you. I'm fing more out, Come please. Come on, Miss Ray. Stand up. Please, no. Put your feet in No, there. please. Please just take me to the hospital. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Can you please call my dad, please? Please, I'm losing my kids. No, Bill, I will Put your tell him I'll kill myself. Please, and we don't have to do this. Please, I can't, I can't. Put your feet I'm in there. I'm begging you, no. Put, get in there now. No, Bill, please. Get in there, I'm on pepper spray I'm not you. being violent, please. Put your feet in there, I'm on pepper please, spray Please, I'm begging you. Get in there, I'm going to pepper spray you. Please, Bill, I'm going to die. She's Please, I'm killing myself. You win, Val. You win. I'm sorry. Please, officer. Put your feet please, in there now. No, please call an ambulance. I can't f***ing deal. I'm having a f***ing anxiety attack. I really can't. Come on. Put please. your feet in there. Now let me f***ing breathe, Val. Val, I can't f***ing breathe. I can't. Help me. I can't. Put your feet in there now. Please, I'm begging you. I can't f***ing breathe. Put your feet in there. No, you're f***ing killing me. Stop. Put your feet in there please, now. Please, stop. Put your feet please. in there. When the cops took the suspect to jail after collecting all the evidence, she told them that she needed to go to the hospital. However, the police were well aware of these tactics. Nuts. You gonna sign this for me? You got an ID on you? Jake, run his ID too. I'm saying bribes. Hey, this was given to me. I don't need that. No, it's a subway card. I can't have that. Yeah, I'm not giving it to you. It was, it was given for the donation for the church. Here you go, bud. Um, it's not, it's right not, here. It's not a bribe. You got your ID with you? Sign right there. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sign right there. Now print your name underneath. Print it. It's not anything to do with bribery. It's just Christian people. Okay. And you guys do a service here. It's just okay. We can't, can't take, take that, man. That's a good way for us to get fired. I don't need anything. Is it? Yes. Just a sandwich? Yeah, we it's can't like do that. It's something that was given. It's just yeah, we can't do that. We can't do that. Now, if you want to send it up to the police department or something, maybe then, but the officer can't take it. I will. No. Please. Jake, you going to the office? Can you take this stuff up here to the office? I don't need. They only got bribe if I get. There you go. If I'm in trouble trying to get out. If you want to take all this stuff to the office for me, just put it in a bag, put it in my box or something, and I'll come up here and take care of it later. Oh my god! She's a good person. She needs some help. Like, how many times have we been through this, though, Mr. Avant? How many times? How many times have I dealt with her and been through this? It's this way every time that I deal with her. 
she acts know, completely she normal. And doing good, and she acts completely normal until you tell her she's going on, until she until you tell her she's under arrest. Then it's I'm going to kill myself and all this crazy. She needs to be in that motherfucking hospital. I told her, man, I said, do not get her out of that jail. Why? I didn't tell you that Christian thing. Just be she a needs nice, that. I got her. We have. I've been straight ever since. Why? Because you're going to kill no, yourself? I've been f Oh. I have been marked. Please, I'm begging you. I, I'm going to kill myself. I want to get. I need my guards and my dad. If you okay. take me to jail, I'm f***ing hanging myself. Okay. No, please. I need my kids. I've been f***ing off of drugs and everything. I'll be homeless. Please. Please don't let him win. Please. Take me to the hospital. I'll do time in there. Please. I don't have my kids because of a I don't want this, please, 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 please. And my brother killed himself, I'll f I have to. If I can't f have my kids, that's what I'm fighting for right now. Please, I'm begging you. Will you please send me the f in Please, sir, please, I please. I need my f box and I need my f crazy man. Please. He don't even have custody of our kids. His mom does because of this. Please, sir. I promise you, I was just that f Good Samaritan, I check out. Please, please, sir, please. <laughs> please give me some help, please. I have nowhere to go. I've been in that f***ing rock. Please, sir, please. Will you please, please. That other man would not let his wife drive me home. And my dad had $100 for me a hotel. They f***ing, I couldn't leave that f***ing rock. Please, I'm not lying to you. I'm not. I'm not trying to f***ing play the victim. Please, I will f***ing. I have to press charges. I don't care. I don't have my kids. But that's what it is. You guys know the f***ing situation and how many times he f***ing kicked me out. Please just let me be homeless. But I'm not going to do f***ing and suck people's f***. I'm not. That's why I have a no. Please. This is why it's please. Please. Will you please start? Will you talk to me please? Please. 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 Here in 16. I got a 29 for by file. Nah. Please send me the f***ing. 601 I'm off my meds. 6783. Please, I have nowhere to go. All my belongings are in that garage. Please. Please have Brandy get them. Get my f***ing guards and my, my f***ing medicine. Please. Please, I beg you, ask that woman. Ask her if I haven't been trying to be clean. Please. Please. I'm not going to say anything. My brother killed himself because of it. I'm not going to talk about it. Please. Sorry, I'm trying to do the best. Please. Please, sir. He just got me kicked out of the f***ing good Samaritan. You're please. going to jail, Miss Four. No, I have to go to the f***ing hospital, please. No, him, please. I will I tell him when you man. get to the hospital. I will tell him when you get to the jail that you want to kill yourself. No, I'm not going to f***ing suicide suit. Stop. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You can't f***ing do that. Stop. Please, sir. We're not playing this game with you. I'm not either. F***ing I get to press the mask on and take me to the god police station. I have no f***ing place. He can't have my kids. That's a Back because of the f***ing domestic. Sorry, sir. I haven't done f***ing. Sorry. I'm just trying to stay clean. Swear to God, I'm doing this advising program. Please. 16, I've got Miss 4 S. Sam. Can I get a uh, case number, please, and time please, of this call? let me go to the hospital. You won't even let me do that. Please. That's why I'm f***ing late. Please. Please, sir. They're not going to f***ing hit me in a suicide. They're going to. No, they're not. I'm getting out. I got my money. Please. During that time, the woman persistently tried to mislead the police by providing inaccurate details about the event, attempting to deceive them. In fact, I am a victim of domestic and I want pictures done now. I am f***ing pressing charges now. You have to f***ing let me press the charges. No, I'm going to f***ing, no. Take me to f***ing hospital. Take me to f***ing hospital. Take pictures of this now. We're I'm driving right now. Charges. Yes, the f Yes, you gotta let me press the f***ing charges. You gotta f***ing file the paperwork. I don't What's fair? Fair. This is George. I'm good. I'm doing. Also, go ahead and call the jail. You I am got in their location yes. right now. I have in yes. hand. Yes. yes. I'm done. Probably Don't gonna you fight. Understand what carry on. Get myself. Don't you <laughs> understand what kind of that is? You don't know, know. I've done every thing for my kids. Please. I am not. I want the. Be good. I'm not gonna. 
white boy was gonna do. I have rights, you gotta rise, you gotta fill the knot. You have rights, you gotta fill the knot. You have to take pictures of this. I have rights, you gotta fill the knot. You have to take pictures of this. I don't give a f Please, sir, please just take pictures of the magic. Desiree, chill out. You're going to jail, just yeah. out. Yeah, he keeps on giving me arrested for nothing. You guys take his work. You don't wanna see that. Take whose you know, word? You know that you can put, you let him go, and he would get away with he murdered me. He would go. You will never find my body. You know what that is? No, my kids need to know. I have rights. They have rights. Please, these money is broken. Please, I'm begging you, sir. Please take me to the hospital. Please, please, please. Then please take pictures of me. God, you gotta. Yep, I have them. Okay. I have nothing. I have nowhere to go. You're giving me by the time I bring it out. And you're doing it to just to with me. I signed over my right. This period that I have complete control of me. They will make you do They will make you do all that shit. Can you please at least go free and have all my stuff, please? Nope, I have your stuff. Well, you're going to be trespassed from that property. I don't care. So, and what? They so, both live there. I know my guy right. So, if you go back there, you're going to be arrested. I, no, I'm not. You guys have to take me back there to get my belongings. No, you can have somebody go there and get well, your Yeah. Well, I know my right. I will go into the county of above I guarantee you I am a victim of domestic Yes, I will go high. You got me. Well, I've not seen any obvious signs of, of injury on you at all. What? What? I said, I've not seen a single sign of injury on you at all. What? What? Of injuries. You ain't foot. I got two you eyeballs. I have you fired for that. I got two you eyeballs. Job, you just protect it and kill it. You don't even care. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Miss Ford, just sit back here and be quiet. No. Well, you're not going to get me in trouble because I haven't what? done anything wrong. What? I said you're not going to get me in trouble because I haven't done anything wrong. Yes. You wanted to hear my assignment. And yes, I am getting a restraining order. I'm both of them guys. So I know my right. I lost my kids because of this before. You got me up. You will answer to this. Okay, well, just sit, we'll just sit back here and be quiet. No, just sit back here and be quiet. No, you should kill yourself. I should? Well, that's not going to happen. Miss Four, you've never told me the truth ever in your life. What? You've never told me the truth ever in your life. What? You what? I've never had a f***ing injury in my life. I'm not going to listen to you. I have a f***ing lawsuit attorney. He has one too. And I am a f***ing disabled person. It's such a joy to deal with. Well, you're going to jail now. I've never lost my kids because of now. You feel better? Make sure you tell my kids that what I feel like. Because that's what you want. So you can get paid for my god if that's true. Serious death or whatever. I'm out of jail. Well, Miss Ford, it gets better. Miss Four, nobody wants you to die. Nobody wants you to die. Nobody wants you to die. The cops escorted the woman to jail, but she resumed engaging in pointless conversation with them, prolonging their inquiry. I'm not okay. having any charges, okay? Cool. You are gonna have charges tonight. You are gonna have charges tonight. Miss Four, you are gonna have charges tonight, okay? What? You are gonna have charges tonight, okay? You 
want to. No, I don't. Yes, you do. What? You're going to have resisting a police officer. No. 33 years. Please, just let me f***ing get out of here and. And you're going to have and you're going to have aggravated Good. assault. You threatened to, to cut no, somebody with a knife. Captain Shepard, not a long call from no, juvenile. So apparently that's no, a domestic or hiding in and the. And then you're going to be trespassing no. that resident. Um, Stop. Officer, the boyfriend of mine. Oh, this one's a peach. Right. Yeah. Every time I arrest her, she acts just like this. Gonna kill herself tonight. She threatened to pull a knife on somebody earlier. You guys ready? Yeah. What's going on, man? Don't really touch me. I have this domestic.
aggravated. She's got assault, resisting a police officer. What are we waiting on? Uh -huh. What are we waiting on? We're just calling somebody. I don't know. The woman attempted to justify herself once again to the police, but they disregarded her words and proceeded to take legal action against her. Let me see your ear. Yes, sir. Now, when did this happen to your ear? Within the past 24 hours, when? I don't remember. It was tonight? yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, and tonight, yes, I need. Okay, let me see the back she, of your head. She wasn't able to take me to the hospital. That guy is crazy, and I wasn't gonna go to the hospital because I didn't want to but they want to let me leave. I, I was, I've hey, been stuck ever since I got, I can finally sleep. It's been, I couldn't go to sleep. Okay. Now, how did you get the goose knot on the back of your head? From him punching me and knocking me into the concrete in that garage. So in the garage, he hit yes, you? Yes, I was, yes, he I was sitting in the yeah. chair. He just cold cocked me on this, where my eardrum is. Who did? Val did. Avant, Mr. Avant? Yes. That's why him and his wife are together. Was that they today? Were, yes. That yeah. was, I Just don't give me remember. An idea. I don't remember this time. But it's been within the 24 hours. I, I have CT and Brent. I can't remember times and dates. She knows. Brittany knows. And she will. Yes. She knows. And she told him. That is not happening. She told him. So he, so he co-cocked you and you fell backwards yes. or what? Yes. Did you go unconscious? Yes. I've been dizzy. Yes. And I, I, I couldn't go to sleep because I so how come you didn't tell me that earlier because I didn't want to tell it doesn't help I didn't I did I don't know I was scared that I'm not gonna let me see my kids I'm scared of him you don't understand like the only way I was gonna be able to do anything or see my kids I have to go through him I lost my kids because of 14 years of domestic and I got I still lost my kids okay and now I'm going through it again and I've been it's gotten worse because of okay, and he's really bad, and his mother knows it. So I some, helped him so with some, drugs. So some, he's the one. Hey, with hey drugs, but I do have listen, some mental listen. issues. So sometime in the last 24 hours, those injuries occurred. Yes, sir. And I've been in that. Was it dark out or daytime? Um, I don't remember. I was in that garage. She will know probably more. She's a little bit smarter. I don't know. Who's uh, Brandy? Brandy. Brandy who? is the girlfriend. She's the one that owns that house. Where's she at? Or, uh, through the Beckers. He helped him get that house. Where's she Brandy She works at the Marion Pawn Shop. She's a manager. What's her last name? Uh, I think it starts with an R, Roland, or something. Yes. She lives there? Yes. And she, Where's she at tonight? She's there. She was there. Okay. She saw it happen? Um, they all knew about it. I, no, I don't know, but she knows that it happened. She knows. And she told him it, it wasn't allowed. But him and him, they were smoking. She doesn't do drugs. She doesn't do any of that. But she what doesn't approve smoking? of domestic. The the, uh, the the it doesn't matter. I don't want to talk about that because my brother is not gonna help. That's gonna make it a lot worse for me. Okay. Yes, I've been on off and on I've, since the four or five years since so I. So you're telling me the truth. That's how you got the Yes. And that, yes, I have no reason to lie. And who did those things? And that boy. And that none of that was true. Who did I didn't those? I'm trying who to get the, him, I would cut myself. Who did the I told him to? I will cut myself. I'm not doing this. It was to try to break me, so I would start. Who did those injuries to you? Norvell Antonio Vaughn Sr. Okay. All right. Please, sir, please. 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 You're going to make sure I go somewhere safe, please. Go to jail. That's not funny, please. It's I not, I'm not trying to be funny. Please, sir. I had to give you my head examined at least. Well, they can do it at the jail. Get in the car. Okay, stop. Seat back here. Okay, they didn't take pictures of it or anything. I did. I did not Keep threaten him with a knife. I didn't have a knife. It's a razor blade. I tried to kill myself. Car. Before get in the car. Okay, I understand. Can I have my mental meds? Get in the car. Swing your legs in the car. I will, but don't do this. Get your legs you were going to get my shoes and everything. That's a false. That's what I've been doing with you for two hours. No, Put your don't. feet in there. You got that. Alright. Hmm? Alright, I got another ticket for you, Jake. Let's go. Can you help me out, please, sir? You can get it. There's some information in here on how to obtain an order of protection against them, okay? It's this yellow paper. Yes, sir. I 
I gave you this lady because I had a good yeah. cushion. I need the other shoe from there too. But. What's that shoe you wear? Um. The woman was charged with assault and with resisting and obstructing a police officer. A simple request becomes a complex melody of discordant reactions, where words falter, actions echo loudly, and the tune of peace is drowned out by the tumult of confrontation. I have a weapon in my, my front tuck. Okay. In my, in my joint. I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. I just, I was just trying to chill out here, drink my beer. On July 7th, 2023, police responded to a hotel in La Crosse after receiving a report of an individual named Mitchell with a firearm. Upon arriving at the scene, officers discovered Mitchell sitting in the hotel parking lot. Despite numerous commands to show his hands, Mitchell ignored them, absorbed in his music. Are you heading that way? Yeah. Make sure you go that way, okay? What did you say about his son? What's that? See him over here? 99 to 51, he's halfway between the building. I'll make contact with you guys when I'm over there now. Lacrosse, please! Hey! Police department, show me your hands! Police department, show me your hands now! Lacrosse police, show me your hand! Sir! Lacrosse police department, show me your hands now! He's just uh, to the east of Walgreens here in the parking lot. He's about halfway down between the hotel. He should be on your guys' or just behind that bush on the other side of that black jeep. If not following commands or acknowledging us. 97 dispatch, can somebody uh, get the Bearcat going for now? We'll grab a shield, people. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sir, Lacrosse Police Department, show me your hands now! 97. Subject's just holding a cell phone right now. Can you hear what he's saying? What he is trying to talk to us? Sir, I need you to show me your hands! What's your name? 10 4. Probably the next responding unit needs to go inside. I know there's a door right there halfway between. Secure that. Show me your hands, sir. Keep them up, sir. Get down on the ground. Got a gun in his waistband. 43 and 97. I see the gun in the waistband. Play his right hand. 10 4. Shield up. He's standing up right now. Sir, I need you to get out of the ground. Sir, get out of the ground! 97, he's moving to the south. Sir, get out of the ground! Police department! Got a bad shot here. Traffic? Yeah. Okay. He's screaming at because everybody's screaming out the window. He's gonna have a total mental whatever. Okay. Sir, get out of the ground! Police department! He's going inside. Stop! Get out of the ground now! Get out of the ground now! We gotta move up. 5197, he's going back inside. He's at the doorway right now yelling at somebody. Yeah, we're moving up. He's going inside. All right, so we're moving up right now. Police department! Guys, go wide. Go wide so we have don't have crossfire. Yes, you. Why don't you own Keep moving, keep moving. The police, concerned for the hotel's safety and uncertain about Mitchell's intentions, took preemptive action. After detaining him, they observed his handgun in his waistband and his lack of cooperation, prompting them to use a taser. Get out of the ground! Taser, taser, taser! Police! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Stay back inside. Stay back inside. We'll be with you in a minute. Stay back inside. Nice. I'm way up one in custody. I have a weapon in my, my front tuck. Okay. In my, in my joint. I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. I just, I was just trying to chill out here, drink my beer, and I just got off work. What's your name, partner? 2.30 this morning. It was in his right front waistband. We're going to go ahead and secure the weapon here, okay? Okay. Roll him to his left. We are in and it is the most true. Hold on a second, I'm gonna pull up here. That's the only thing I got. That's the only thing I got. You wanna render it safe? You injured at all, sir? No, I'm not. What's your name? Mitchell. This guy to leave me alone. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going through a stressful s. He just kept.
Don't with me, man. I don't, I don't know what I was doing wrong. Are you injured at all? No, sir, I'm not. Okay. I'm not trying to do anything. I was just talking to this guy. He just kept with me, man. No. I don't, I don't get it. You guys want to bring your squad up here? Right. I'm the one that pulled it out. I'll be right inside this door. This is my room. You okay. Talk to me. Yeah, we'll come talk to you. Was there one in the tomb? No, there wasn't. Just a loaded magazine. Just a loaded mag. Okay. Yeah, just a loaded mag. I'm gonna, we're going to so. set you up now, okay? Just, just wait, 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 leave them there. I want to get the probes out. Okay. I was just telling him, yeah, could he please yeah. leave me alone? So we're going to pull the probes out of you here. So if you want to yeah. lay it back on your stomach, he can pull okay. those out, okay? Okay, now we're going to enroll you so you can sit up, okay? Okay. There you go. You enroll that last one. Tom, why don't you go and stand up here, okay? He has no license, yeah, negative one, junior bonds. I do see he had a denied gun transaction on 421 for 2023. Is your glasses <laughs> Yes, sir, they are. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, my arm. Oh. All right, here's his phone. Do you know what shield was yours? I had the one that was laying down right here. I had a really light one. Yeah, it's 28, so. That's 29. Six o'clock in the morning. Definitely awake now. Yeah. What do you want now with your speaker? Um, I want it to be able to be brought with me so I can take it with me. Nail that thing. That went very well. Good. Where, Done. where was he sitting here? He was at the door yelling at someone. We come out wide, be phone them come down. Yeah. Like, I don't have no warrants, no nothing. I, w I just got off work at 2.30 this morning. I was just chilling out here, and this guy kept f***ing with me, and I have a lot going on in my life right now. Okay. He's yelling, no clue, I'm behind him. I'm gonna light him up right away. Oh, nice. Flops backwards. Beautiful. Low 9 mil. Nothing in the chamber, full magazine. Okay. He conked his head pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So you were coming this way? D Flo and oh, they were Wagner down were down there. Me and Brad were down there. Me or I'm the one who pulled the gun out. I just oh yeah, yeah. We'll I, talk I gotta to go to work. That's why I need to know. I gotta leave for work in like okay. two minutes. Okay, I'll I'll talk to you here. Okay. So we come down this way. D Flo's coming down. We swing wide. He's yelling at him right at the door. Oh. I drop my shield, grab my taser, and light him up right away. Is he in our car or your car? We can throw him in our car. So we can take care of that. Now my feet, my head, my head. Okay. I kept hitting my head on the, the door trying to get out. I'll go to the squad over here, okay? I go to four days a week, 10 hours a shift. So. I got you, man. Uh, I know y'all got to do a job just like I got to do a job. I was just trying to chill after I got off work. And a kept with me and I got some major in my life going on. We'll talk to you in a minute, okay? Yeah, it's all good. Like I said, I know y'all got to do y'all's job. Like Let's go over here, sir. Just watch your head getting in there. Yep. Oh, okay. the seat belt. I can't. I can't move over because of the seat belt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I can't lean over because these cuffs, man, it's killing me when I try to lean over this way to the right. You have the right to remain silent. Remain silent. Anything you, you say, say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Along. You have yeah, the right yeah. to consult with a lawyer before questioning and to have yep. a lawyer present with Appreciate you during. It. Have a, have a great day. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, you know, a lawyer hey, one will be appointed to represent you yeah. at public expense. No, before, during, yeah. Thank you. It, I just have to read the rest of them. Yeah, okay. I understand. That's just loaded night, man. I know. Once they said they saw the gun, I'm like, oh, yeah, great. Right. Two or more this do you understand each of these rights? Yes, sir, I do. Are you now willing to answer any questions and make a statement? I'll answer anything you- The cops then took a statement from the victim, revealing shocking facts about the suspect. So what's going on, sir? So what happened? Uh, we were laying down in bed, and all of a sudden I just heard radio just crank. Okay. I opened up my window, I said, hey, you want to turn that down? And he didn't hear me, I said, hey, I just kept screaming. You want to turn it down? I said, I'm going to come out there and I'm going to smash that- Stereo. I just got off work at 2.30 this morning. I was just sitting out here smoking my m***ing blunt, drinking my beer. This guy decided to come out and start f***ing with me. I opened up the door and I said, turn it down. I said, have respect. People are trying to sleep. People are trying to go. I mean, there was like 20 people yelling out their windows. Shut okay. the thing off. I'm sure. calling the cops. He said, mm -hmm. Gonna do about it. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, can you please leave me alone? I got a lot going on in my life. I said, I said, I gotta leave to work. I'm like, I'm like, I'm pissed. Turn 
And then, down, then the girl came out from upstairs. She has kids. She came out. He was sitting down on the pile, and I was probably halfway across the yellow thing. She's like, turn it down. I got kids. I'm like, bro, I'm just sitting out here drinking my beer. Leave me alone. He kept f***ing with me, and I'm like, bro, I'm not a felon. I got a gun right here. Please leave me the f*** alone. He jumps up. He's like, I'm going to shoot you in your f***ing face. Okay. He pulls the gun out, put it in my face, and I just f***ing. How far were you from him when he did that? So you guys, you were, you were right next to him. Yeah, the he, he came, I was halfway across. He came up and started walking towards me. I'm just trying to do me. I'm like, I know I got my music a little loud, but bro, it's in the morning. It's in the morning. It ain't like I'm bumping this late at night or some shit. It's daytime, bro. Look, y'all see it? It's daytime. He started in my face. He's like, I'll shoot you in the face. I said, turn the Put it back up again. Yeah, and then he, he screamed, I got demons, blah, blah, blah. I said, turn the shit People are trying to sleep. Okay, I understand you got to get up early. I just got the f off. Did you make any threats to him at all? No, I didn't make no threats to him at all. To I turned around, he put it in his waistband and sat back down. At that time, I had already turned on the stereo. I went back inside, sat down, turned the thing back up. But by that time, my wife was already on the phone with you guys. Okay. He came out. I'm like, you walking too close to me. You you being threatening to me now. I'm, I'm on some defensive. Can you please back the f up. I got a gun right here. Can you please back the f up? I don't know if you a drug addict or not. I got gold diamonds and that on. Bro, I don't know if you trying to rob me. No sh Can you please back the f away from me? That's all it was on. And he called the police and said what he said. I didn't pull my gun out of nothing. I, I did bring it. I, I pulled it up. I pulled my shirt up like, bro, look, I got a gun right here. <laughs> Can you please back the f from me. I will protect myself if I need to. Uh, how much have you had to drink this morning? I had, I'm going to tell you the exact amount. I had a 24 can tall beer and then I had four cans, 16 ounce cans. And as you see, I'm still competent. Yeah, the music was extremely loud. My husband went out. From that speaker, yeah. Yep. Yeah. My husband went out to tell him to turn it down. We actually said something through the window first. Mm -hmm. I'm not belligerent, drunk, stumbling, none of that and he wasn't here yet, so he went outside to go tell him. And I opened up the window, like just the curtain, and that's when I saw the gun come out. Mm -hmm. And he was pointing it at my husband. He was waving it around. I'll shoot you, whatever. Okay. When you say you brandished the gun, what do you mean? You, you actually put it in your hand and pull it out? No. Or just. No. I, I, what I mean by brandish it, I was like trying to pull my t shirt like up, like, because I had it tucked in my pants. I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. I got a gun. Can you please leave me alone? As soon as I saw the gun, for the most part, I was on phone with 911. Mm -hmm. He kept walking up to me like he was trying to do something to me. And I, and I was walking back like, can you please step away from me? Cause and this all happened right here? Yeah. How long have you been carrying the gun today? When I get off work, I usually drink, like I said, four 16 ounce cans and one 24 ounce cans. Once I get to the second 16 ounce cans and 16 ounce cans, after that, I usually go to the 24, then I drink the other two, two 16 ounce cans. But when I get to the, the, the 24 ounce can, I be like, man, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if, cause I'm in a hotel that's known for having drug addicts in it, man. How much weed you smoke today? I'm on like maybe my third blunt of the day. I know I was wrong. I had my music up loud, but I'm going through some shit. Man, I hear you, man. So did you get the gun when you got home then? Huh? You put the gun in your waistband when you got home? Yeah, okay. when, I, when I got to the room. All right, we'll be with you in just a second, okay? Yep. So what all you think for charges? DC uh, will arm? DC will arm. Reckless? Reckless. Um, first degree reckless, I suppose. And then uh, intoxicated use of firearm. And then point, probably pointing a firearm. Just missing your point of firearm at a person. There's another charge no. for that. Is yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. It's a misdemeanor. Point a firearm at a person. Something is. We'll do that. Um, so that what kind of gun was that? The Glock or what do you have? Stroger. Stroger, nine mil Stroger, whatever. Okay. With a laser. It's too early for the <laughs> rabbit. What's that? It's too early in the morning for the <laughs> rabbit. I came to the day shift, so I didn't have to deal with the <laughs> um, You want to grab a PVT? We'll get a PVT from him. The cops conducted a test to determine his true condition, allowing them to proceed with appropriate charges against him. All right, we're going to do a quick PVT on you, okay? Big deep breath and blow as hard as you can for me. Keep going, keep going, going. Good. Let's see a picture of it. I'm not that drunk, bro. I just had like 
five beers. They're a point two oh. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm a little it's intoxicated. Drunk, but it's not super drunk. You said he threatened you. Can you explain how he threatened you? Didn't he didn't verbally threaten me, but he walked up on like if, if I ran up on you like that. When you feel threatened, like I'm finna do something to you if you you but, come if I but, came up close in your face like that. Okay. When you feel threatened, like hey, can you please back the f up off me? Do you have a concealed carry? Um, no, I do not. You don't. Okay, sounds good. All right, we'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay. Jesus, yeah. okay. Just shut up and stop talking. Like, bro, I don't know why they keep Just, me, Just shut man. up and stop. Just shut up. Do not leave him alone. He's not. He's going to jail, so. No, he needs to be watched. Yeah, they will jail. They have nurses and all that stuff. He there, needs so. to be watched. Bro, because I'm going through a he, lot he's of going to right now. He needs to be watched. Yep. And it, 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 will yes. me, man. Yep. For no f reason. Yeah, I've never been behind these doors that I'm about to go behind. I've never. So I always wanted to. I never really wanted to see what it looked like, but I've always wanted to see what it looked like if you could understand what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. You want to see what it looked like without going in this way. Yeah, right. Exactly. I've never been through here, so I want to see what the f*** it looked like. Oh, that's, that's cool What's that? I said y'all had to put y'all heat up too. Mm -hmm. In Chicago, they don't do that. They carry they with them. In Chicago, they don't play that. Hey, hold on, bro. We gotta carry our into it. You all the way in. Mitchell, once we go through this door, there'll be a bench on your left here, and you can have a seat, okay? Okay. Damn. Will we be able to loosen these stuffs or take them off or do something with them? Just like okay. no. They'll be, yeah, they'll be coming to take them off, okay? Yeah. Mitchell was charged with felony second degree, recklessly endangering safety, misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct, and operating a firearm while intoxicated. Witness this story where the cop's arrival shattered the man's illusions like fragile glass, catching him red-handed. Dude comes up in the house with a bush knife. I think he's drunk. I think he lives next door. I'm not All conspired. Now I got him out the house. He starts kicking the back door, got back in with a knife. I'm like, I don't know what to do. On January 1st, 2023, police responded to a report about Miguel breaking into a neighbor's house with a knife in Dayton. As the cops approached the man, they found him in an unpredictable condition and wasted no time taking action for safety. They then spoke with his wife to learn more about the situation, but her confusing statement raised their doubts. Mama Sariva! Uh, Drop what's in your hand! Uh, Drop what's in your hand now! Uh, Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Tell him to place his hand behind his back. Yes, somebody. Back up! Get over there! He's up here! He's up here! Hey, hey man! Come on! I had to call to say something. Hey, somebody here? Push to him! Push to him! Push to him! Push to him! Okay. Hold on, hold on. I have to play so he is the owner of the nest to home. Yes? And somebody here hit to him in the back. It's not the idea. Yes? It's well, okay, not, put the, put the yeah. knife down. No, it's uh, the knife let, is let in my go home. Of the knife. No, I gonna talk in Thank the you. home. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where, where, where do you live here? He, I, he's my husband. Okay. We live next to the house. Yes? You, the, you live one yes, house over? Yes, he is the owner of the next home. Okay. The thing is... Why are you all so, here? Why? Because someone out here hit him in the back. Okay. Some people out here, out here all the time go inside of our house. Okay. It's not... Okay. Why? Okay. Uh, when he he's angry so much, and when he has to ask to the people what's going on, they say, no, nobody, I, I, I don't know who hit him. As you see, he, he's back, okay. hit him, he, I don't know who, but somebody, yes. Miguel, Miguel, ¿por qué no te fresquean inquieto? Ellos, ustedes, lo vamos a hacer con Orrea, está con Orrea. No, Miguel, esa no es la idea, Miguel, esa no es la idea. Bueno, no es la idea. Ese, ese ok, why they hit him? I, I don't know. So, yes. so he came back over here to confront them? 
But they say that anybody, they, they say that anybody is no. I don't, I don't believe this. So why did he come over here? Because we live over there. And, and somebody here hit him the back. Okay. Why? So he came over with a knife? Yes, because I don't know. I, I can't okay, explain but that, why. But that's why he should call us. Yes, I'm trying. I tried to call them, but they get mad. At that moment, the officers struggled to understand what had happened because both neighbors provided conflicting stories and blamed each other. Step inside. Oh, I'll be happy. Thank, Thank you. So I came in and he comes in too. Do you want to be arrested here. for obstruction? We're trying to Listen, talk. You're not you're letting us do our job. I'm telling you I'd what be happened. Happy to talk to you in okay, a then come in here and talk to me. Fabulous. Come in here and talk to okay. me. I'll tell but you what happened. But there's no point in shouting tell you what out the door. I'm not shouting. They are. No, Let me tell you what no happened. No one is listening to you. You're shouting. You know why? Because y'all are paying. Y'all are paying. You think I'm stupid? No, because my life eight. is my life is threatened. And you've been here are so you, many are you times. Are you gonna listen for a minute? Yeah, I'll listen I, all day long. I, I, and then you guys will say leave, or you'll say check your mental health. Listen for a minute. I want an officer in here that I've spoken to before. Correct. You just. I want an officer. Would you shut up for one minute? No problem. Stop talking now. You're gonna be stop being disrespectful, and I will too. Okay. You just said that I've been here a lot. I've never. No, I said back. I want to talk to an officer Bef that has been here before. before. That's what I said. So you are get you, your are facts you straight. Let me talk when you get them right. Before, before you said that. When you that, get your facts before straight. Before you said that. You when you get my life's in jeopardy. Get an officer in here. That I want to talk to right you before. And I, I get talk one. Because that's. Before. Here's I want to talk to the new ones. She's I want to talk to an officer I've talked to I've been before. here longer than all of them combined. You've not been at this house. Great. <laughs> so, no, that makes a huge difference about the Do you, well, I said something about, about back taxes oh, in the house oh, behind oh, us. Oh, it's oh, loaded. Oh, 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 so she was walking down. He popped out of the door yeah. down there. Y'all are out of his truck. Y'all are paying. The truck. Nobody walked out of this house. Nobody exited here. They are Nobody right said now. that. And then she and then she I, can, I can't hear her. She's uh, schizophrenic. We have she don't. Up the, the She's visitors. visitors. Step out here. Yeah. She is a visitor. She yeah. don't live here. She don't pay rent. So he was in a white truck. He popped out. And she said that she's, she's never seen him or talked to him before. Okay. And then he chased her back here. And she ran inside the door. That was closed door. He ran up in the back. And she went to go out the back door. And he was trying to get in. And she slammed it again. And he was trying to get kicked in the back door. And him and her, this guy here and this here. And then she schizophrenic. And she didn't know what's going on. Dude comes up in the house with a bush knife. I think he's drunk. I think he lives in the door. I'm not All inspired. Now I got him out the house. He starts kicking the back door. Got back in with a knife. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to stab him. I have to do something. You know what I'm saying? Here, kicking the back. What are they saying that it's someone assaulted them? I don't know. He came in our back door. We, uh, the, everybody pushed him out the house because he had a butcher knife, but that's about it. We, nobody nobody hit him or nothing. But that's not normal behavior. I, he's drunk, I think. Now, I, these guys go our private area. Mm. If not here, it's in the side, in the back jar. Okay. We don't know why or what okay. door they're doing. When did that happen? No, like 15 minutes ago. I think there's something good. Yeah, or mentally, wrong. Or mentally wrong. I couldn't figure out if he was handicapped. And I'm in debt. That's why we didn't want to do that too. Like we didn't know what was wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? Or is he you just have drunk, high on something? something? I don't know, but I tried to ask to them who was. No, they say anybody was, but he has the heat over here. Over here, sorry. From a uh, medical condition, that's fine, fine but his, his behavior is not acceptable. Again. Okay. Some, someone hit him? Yes. Okay, and then so he grabbed a knife and ran over here. Yes. What happened at that? Did he run okay. to the front door? Uh, no, he tried to, you know, hit in order to open it, in order the, to the, the, front, front. The, the front door? Yes. Okay. Yes, he tried to, you know, say, uh, okay, come here and fight with right. me. Yes. Um, the thing is they don't speak English, so the thing is I have to call the police, but I can't keep it to him and calling at the same time because I it was I tried to ask to them who was or they say anybody hit him so the I tried to explain so, to so them how, how did he they make any progress at the front, front door so then he went to the back door yeah to the back door it was I don't know I don't know it was I don't know it was the the other policeman tried to you know stop it because he, he went to front uh, hey come by hey open the door 
I try to say then so no the, open the, the door because they you know the did anyone regular o- did anyone open the back door anymore? they have like a, I don't know how to say that <laughs> like a big tool Okay. You know, to try to defend, I don't know. So the door was open? No. Uh, at the beginning, yes. The back door but I tried to say to them, hey, close the door. Okay. Because, you okay. know. Did he, so did he go in the back door to confront them? Mm-hmm. So he went in through the back door? Yes. Okay. Um, and then one of them had a big tool or, or something to defend them? Yes. They have a, like, a, I don't know. No, I can't met, remember met, what it is. Metal or wood? No metal. Yes. Uh, for like a car? Hmm? No. What, the thing that you use for putting the wall? A hammer? A hammer. Okay. Yes. I so, can't remember where now. So he went to the back door and he went inside and they had a hammer? Yes. Okay. And he, he did go inside and then how did he end up back outside? No. No, because I told them, hey, no, go inside. Don't go outside, please, because he's mad. How did, he, a, how did he come back out? Huh? Well, he said he went in. Did yes. they push him out? How did he get back outside? Yeah, he, he tried to, to, to get in. Okay. Um, me and my brother tried to stop him okay. because he's angry. Yeah. Uh, I said, or you? I don't remember where who was. Uh, this is our home. He will try a lot of times getting in our area. He tried to avoid that can be early. We try to say to they don't see the about the suggest, but anybody answer. Even the trash, it was a mess in our driveway. Today, it was the day. He was drunk. Unfortunately, uh, he was mad about that. He has a heat. Anybody do it, so. Okay. It was a big problem because he's down there. Um, anybody where, do it. Where was he when he got hit? Where? Yeah. Like he was he he, to the neighbor the truck, over there. He was in the neighbor's yard? Yes, yes, because they were together talking okay. and you, drinking. Were you outside? <laughs> we were, I was inside. Okay. So <laughs> Suddenly. How, so how did you know he got hit? Did he come inside? Yeah, in order to... Put his the shit out. Even after extensive conversations with both parties, the police couldn't obtain a clear account of the issue between the two neighbors. Nevertheless, they took the necessary steps against the suspect. No, he told me it was, like, it was uh, the other He just told me he didn't hear or see any other yeah, he can't, he Right, can't and, really and, you, and you can't be his witness. Yeah. Like, you can't tell him what to tell him. I'm not yeah. telling him what to tell him. I'm just it's telling you what I see. Right. right. So if he doesn't, yeah. if he didn't hear anything, see anything, know anything, then there's no He's point for a witness. witness statement. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm just telling him that he didn't right. see anything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know what the hell that dude was on. I, he, I don't know if he's on drunk. I don't know what the I, Yeah, no, we'll just I, list him as the homeowner victim and probably nothing will happen. But because he's so like uh, mad, you know, I can't, uh, maybe I try the window say to him that be relaxed, that I want to go there, you know, that, that, you know, that he be like more mm-hmm. calm down. Let, let me ask the officer, okay? Please. Mm-hmm. I'm so worried about him. Uh, wife wants to know if she can talk to him for a minute. Calm him down. Yeah, he's pretty calm right now, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Whatever. Okay. That, way, that way she can figure out if she wants his property or what. Yeah. But still, based on what we got, it's yeah. it's act first. Yeah. And what I approached when I saw him went around it, so I'll be up to You have to put his window, window down. Yeah. Yeah. What? Just a second. I think we're good. Uh, you decide you want her name or anything? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I can't. It's really just a diss. Like we're charging somebody with a F one. Is it 
based on nothing. Right. Well, based on what you yeah, saw yeah. and what. Well, what? Kicking, what? Kicking, kicking the was door. He in the backyard when he, uh, he was on the, right on the back, back step, okay. kicking it, knife in hand. And, what, and White says that she was back there and saw him come inside. And for their investigation, that, oh, he's did, that he did make entry. Miguel was charged with aggravated menacing and trespassing. In the confined crucible of cuffs, her anger burns like an inferno. It's heat tempered only by the cool grasp of reality. On June 16th, 2023, officers were dispatched to arrest a woman named Candace, who had a warrant. Upon arrival, the cops approached Candace and notified her of the warrant. Initially, she tried to comprehend the situation, but later she refused to acknowledge it. My name's Officer Stag, I do have a body camera, I just, you know. Uh, you got, you got warrant, so we gotta get it taken care of, okay? What are you doing? I got my daughter. I completely understand, but it sounds like... He doesn't, he can't. What's that? I, he can't. Yeah. If you're comfortable, we could have someone do it. The only issue is, is that this is signed by the judge, so it's judge's orders. Unfortunately, we can't let you go. If, if you don't feel safe with her being with him, then you, we, we can let you call somebody else. But we can't. We can't. No. Please, can I that. talk to my probation officer? It has nothing to do with probation. It's, yeah, it's different. So it's, it, the warrants for DUI. So are you so comfortable with her staying with him? Otherwise, you know, I'll have to get her the father to come get him. Or, um, the father of the her, girl. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that you might be able to bond out? I think it's how much no, is it? I can't. Okay. Five thousand, ten percent, five hundred. Yeah, it was like two hundred and thirty something. Or I don't know, but I can't. Okay. No. All right. What's his What's his number? You want to give him a call or something? <laughs> We can go ahead and we can, Officer Steck has a phone that you could call the dad off of, all right? Okay. I'm going to go back inside. I'll get you some shoes. <laughs> okay. You got to hold it together, Candace, okay? Be strong, all right? Because at this point, your daughter doesn't know what's going on, okay? We don't want her to get scared. But you already know. You know what I'm saying? No, I okay. Do you have his number? I don't. The, the father's number? I'll go grab the phone. Okay. He's going to get the phone. <laughs> no. Do you have her cell phone? I need you to hold it together. This, this isn't gonna change anything, okay? Stop. You gotta stop. This is, not, okay, this is not gonna help the situation, okay? My Can aunt's you? sending me some money. <laughs> you need to think about what you're doing right now because if not, you're going to pick up another charge. It's not that big of a deal. It is. No, it's, it's not. my daughter's you're birthday. The one who's freaking out. <laughs> Can you loosen them up? All right, I'll loosen them in a second. But do you have any shoes for her? You just caused a ruckus right now, so. Baby, wait, 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 wait. wait. I know, Dan, you need to calm down. Listen to what I'm saying, all right? Just give him the phone and he can do it. Okay. Just give him, I have the number. Just take the phone in there, it's fine. You need to stop because your daughter inside is freaking out. And it is 100% on you. You're the one who's screaming. Can you just loosen it up and in a second, be going? In a second, right but now. you just caused a huge ruckus. I'm not willing to loosen him up in the moment. And if anything, okay. you try jumping over that right now, too. So you're lucky you're not picking up a charge. <laughs> okay, we're going to start walking to the car, okay? I need my shoes. Okay, I'll we'll get shoes. your shoes in a second. Just my sandals are right here. After, can we just call my, so I know my girl, is he safe? Please. Let's go this way. I need my sandals. I understand, but let's step down here because I don't want your daughter seeing me like this. Okay? It's fine. She's already saw me like this. Okay. I don't want anybody else right, seeing me like this. Can I get my teeth? What's that? Teeth. 
Are they inside? Yes. Okay, we can ask. Okay, I don't know why you needed to do that whole big thing, okay? Well, that you was said... unnecessary. <laughs> I that just was wanted... very unnecessary. I said, because you didn't I, I didn't understand me. I, just this, my, I mean, this is new for me. Okay, thank you. This is why I haven't went to court, because of these two. I just, I don't even on the phone. Okay, well, the cuffs are on the normal way, how they're always on, okay? And I'm not gonna do two sets of cuffs because of how you behaved earlier. So I don't want anything, any issues, okay? There's a lot going on. My dad shot himself because he couldn't deal with his cancer. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. That's no fun. Like, with my teeth, I wanted to kill myself, too, but now it's too fine. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're okay. Hang tight for one second, okay? I just got to pat you down, so can you stand over here by the back tire? If you do have any drugs or anything on you, when we get to jail, it's going to be extra charges, okay? I as the cops placed her in the cruiser, the woman started yelling and screaming from inside. Despite attempts by the officers to calm her, she proceeded to threaten them. Hey! hey stop! No! You need stop. to ch you! I'm killing myself! Oh, shut up! Right, you're going to jail. No, I'm not! I'm killing myself! I'm gonna get sprayed with... Resisting. All right. Why did I resist? F you. Okay. F you. Now you're getting resistant. No, I'm gonna kill myself. You I won't get nothing. You could have. You. Okay. No, that'll kill me. Now you're getting resistant. You probably don't either. Eat your butt. You. Now you're getting resistant. You probably don't either. Eat your butt. You're 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 probably I'm done! I want to be here no more! I can't eat! I can't sleep! I can't do nothing for my daughter! I'm a bad piece of shit! I'm done! Are you going to tantrum? No! I'm done! With life! You see that in my eyes? I'm done! I don't see shit in my eyes. I see it! I'm done! I can't deal with this no more! Stop. No! No, I'm not tampered here! I'm not doing that! I'm serious! <laughs> Take a seat. No! Take a seat. No! 
Take a seat. No! You need to take a seat, Candace. No! Yes. F you! F you! Take a seat. F you! Or I'm gonna no! to the to the bench. No, you're not! I'm either gonna cuff you to the bench or you're gonna take a seat. No! Okay. The woman seemed unwilling to accept her situation, persisting in her behavior while the cops moved forward with their next steps. Take a seat. Candace, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. No! Hey! No. Hey! You. Hey, stand up. Yeah, Candace. I'm a little bitch. If you can't go boo me, you You got three guys on your way. You You Hey, you. You're the one that beat the me. Yes, you did. You threw me on the ground the other day. Yeah, you know who I am. Yes, it was. You Yes, it was! You're going out of You don't know what you're doing! Hey, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, forgive me. No, you're not. No, you! Candace, no! Doesn't want to listen to this. I want to beat the me. I'm not even doing it. Why? I need to lock it. No! It doesn't break down on you. No! The one that kills her. Who's stopping because you guys, I'm gonna keep on talking. Hello, 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 hello. So you can't do your work until I can do this. Hello, hello, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Lucy, hello! Please! Can you please? It's not gonna work. No. I tried helping you out. was charged with a DUI, warrant, and resisting arrest. For more videos about criminals, hit the subscribe button.